Language learning saved my life, and it might just save yours too. So if you don't know me, my name is Mark, and this is Language Come Up, where I come up and you do too. So today I had a video that was completely different scheduled today. I wanted to do an update video, but sometimes things just need to take priority. I just finished a class, and I got on Facebook, and I like to see my memories from day to day on Facebook. This this part of Facebook and something really important came up that I realized today is my anniversary of being in Mexico right my seven year anniversary and I just want to reflect on the importance of language learning in this role so when I was in college I thought wouldn't it be nice to go to Mexico, learn Spanish, and get to know my Mexican side. My dad was Mex my dad was Mexican. But, you know, I deep down I never thought it was going to happen. I thought it was just going to be a nice idea and that's it because I needed to finish school, I needed to find a job, get an apartment, you know, do all the things, all of the steps that people do in a normal American society. But um all of a sudden, my dad got sick, right? And my dad got diagnosed with brain cancer. And um, shortly after that, he had a surgery that didn't go well and he passed away, right? So before he got diagnosed, um, I had re recently moved back in with my parents. I was living out away from home. I had a job uh, that didn't go as planned, so I moved back. and. All these things started happening with my dad. And uh, as you can imagine, I was just in complete disarray, right? And I was sitting at home basically all alone. You know, I did have my family here and around, but it was a pretty lonely um, process. And I had the idea, occurred to me, why don't I go to Mexico? It was this idea that I had from so long ago that I never th thought would come to fruition. So I sent the message out saying that I wanted to come. And um, my uncle decided to take me in. So I remember the day before I, I went, before I left for Mexico, I remember thinking things are about to be very different from this point on. And that indeed they were but in the most beautiful way ever, right? So, um, <laughs> basically, the first night that I get there, my uncle's like, all right, so you're going to be an English teacher now and uh, you're going to go study Spanish. And I'm like, um, you know, I know how to speak English, but teaching, oh, I don't know how to teach. So that's when I started this whole process of learning how to be uh, an English teacher le learning how to teach and then uh, I went to a university where they had a, a foreign a, a program to learn Spanish for uh, foreigners right and these two things basically have been the foundation of my life for a, a long time now you know I work as a professional English teacher something I really like something that I can help with people just like my dad you know he wanted to learn English one day, not one day, but um, when he was younger, and he did a lot of work so he could be able to speak well. You know, I, I, I saw these people as people with dreams like my dad. And, um, of course, the whole idea of Spanish, learning a new language, reconnecting with my um, family, um, having new experiences in Spanish, in a new country, you know, I realized the beauty of language um, helping people with my language and also me learning another language. You know, I always joke that um, I can never go back to the monolingual lifestyle. And, you know, it's really true. And throughout these years, you know, I've had just amazing experiences, right? Friendship, love, excitement all the emotions you could possibly feel, right? And um, most of these experiences happened, 
through the Spanish language, right? And um, I knew that language was always going to be a very important part of my life. Um, I used to think, you know, how is it that these people know what they're going to study at 17 and study that? And that's what really fulfills them. And that's what they can work as the rest of their life. I remember thinking, wow, these people are quite lucky, you know. But in a way, I consider myself to be very lucky as well because um, I found a passion, something that I really love. A little bit later in life, but it's always better than never coming, right? It's always better that <laughs> it comes later than never, right? So, um, you know, I'm very grateful with my life, uh, for my life, and for all those that have helped me, not just in the last few years, but throughout my life, you know, but I'm particularly grateful to my uncle, who took his brother's son in, his nephew. He didn't really know me. The only thing he knew about me that, you know, I belong to the family, at least on a, you know, a genetic standpoint, right? And um, he gave me a beautiful gift, right? He gave me the gift of a second chance. And um, the reason I'm so passionate about language learning is because it really can open up things for the best and in the most beautiful way. You know, if you're considering studying the language or if you are studying the language, I just say continue going. You must continue because you never know where it can take you. Language learning saved my life and it might just save yours too. So I got a little personal today, guys. I talked about my story. That's one of the most important things to me, my story. And now I want to know a little bit about your story. How did you guys get into language, language learning? And tell me some of the gifts that it has brought you. So if you like the video, give it a like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Take care.